Oh, okay. I accidentally hit the start broadcasting button, so I guess I'm live. This is Julie Christine talking about um, love and um, wanting to uh, just share what I was thinking about in the moment. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that suffer from um, identifying themselves um, or, or not knowing how to identify themselves, and they're suffering around that. Um, a lot based on who they're attracted to or what they look like or what gender. And I just want to encourage us as human beings to um, recognize the importance um, of what it means to be a heart being, to our identity based on um, our, our heart responses. So as we are discovering or are trying to label ourselves um, in one category or the other, according to who we're uh, maybe physically attracted to. That is one level of, of self-identification. Um, but our heart, uh, to look at the qualities of responding to the world at large from your heart is a powerful way to self-identify. It's an antidote to self-hate. Um, if you are wanting to have a loving relationship with the outer world. Um, it begins, of course, in the inner world, but just recognizing that you have that aspiration feels, um, uh, it, it's, a, it's a connecting self-awareness that feels good. It's the opposite of hate and it's the opposite of suffering in the way of um, how you identify who you are in the world. Um, I think what I'm saying is it's just kind of like taking it a step up. Um, I think because I'm um, having a, a tantric celibate relationship with, with the ideas of love, um, I realize that we as human beings, um, it's really important for us to identify what are love-based human activities and what are love-based responses and what are love-based views um, in our daily life. So um, looking at how we see each morning, each day we could be expanding in our capacity to um, view ourselves and the world from, from our heart. And that means, um, it means a multitude of things, but it means an intention not to harm. Uh, it's, it's often got a tenderness, um, a sweetness and uh, respect. It has a sense of feeling what the others are feeling. Um, sorry, I, I don't like um, clutter. And uh, it also um, brings a sense of fulfillment and happiness, regardless of whether or not you have a, a partner or a social life or, um, you know, even if you're in prison. Or, or you've done bad things, just touching on the place inside that wants to be a good person, that trusts that there is a place inside that is a good person, and it just has maybe done bad things, or it feels bad things, or it thinks thoughts that maybe don't feel good, or it doesn't know who it it wants to have as a as a sexual relationship. You know, th those kind of issues um, can lift a little bit when we take a look at how important it is to acknowledge ourselves as a heart-based, precious human being. And if we've done unheart-based activities in the past, we have this precious power of the ability to think and to recognize um, what was a mistake. And um, you can... Uh, I think all the world religions, but for sure Christianity and Buddhism, those are the two I know the best, um, speak of the power of confession or repentance. So we as people can start identifying ourselves with wanting to grow in the ways of love, whether we have a partner or not, or whether we're a male or a female. Um, we have these basic qualities of humanness uh, that are reblooming, are be reawakened, or are growing or expanding, and um, that's where maybe we can agree on and come together in a, on a platform 
that includes all identities of however we're identifying ourselves um, from the reproductive areas, you know, let's everybody meet here at the heart level and recognize what are heart-based activities, what are heart-based dress codes, and um, what are heart-based um, intentions for businesses. And by the way, a government is a business, a big business, and um, a government selling weapons as its product is a big problem. And us as people not recognizing the difference between uh, heart-based activities and hell based activities, that also can change because that's the power of intelligence. So I think just words of support to anybody having an identity crisis, um, shift your attention to loving uh, the world, loving the sky, the flowers, um, appreciating the tenderness of the moment, uh, taking the time to acknowledge an animal as you pass it by on the side of the road or or a nod of respect to a fellow human as you pass them on the street or a namaste. Um, all of these things, uh, if we identify with these, it takes the pressure off of how to identify yourself in the worldly world and gender and things. So boys and girls, we can all meet in the heart and, um, and then we play dress up, you know? I think it's cool, you know? Um, but I think if we don't get the place inside that is a loving, respectful of life and, and um, a host of other qualities I can maybe talk on later, uh, I would love to hear other feedbacks of what you think the qualities of love are. But we build that into our daily intention and then we carry on with how we're identifying ourselves in the world. So that's it. I just, you know... Wanted to help us lift up more into identifying ourselves as a heart-caring being, caring for the animals, caring for the other, caring for how you respond to other people throughout the day, trying to be a vibration that's harmonious, that's, that's, that's kind, um, that's happy, even when you're sad. You know, the, there's a sense of, of goodness, of wanting to be um, a caring person. And that is, uh, that it's kind of like a support through the hard times because hard times will come, but understanding them from your heart, um, then it makes it, it's really not as a big a deal, um, how you label yourself or, or what name you give yourself, um, all the different groups politically as well as sexual orientation and, you know, I'm just kind of like equalizing, leveling the ground. Let's just come here first and get this. And then from there, that will be less uh, traumatic. Okay, um, that's it for now. I look forward to talking more about whatever arises with love. And I look forward to sometime doing question answers. So I get um, your you guys what you think about love and how you handle heartbreak and... and um, and how you think we can shift this country um, and the law and the, and the law enforcers, you know, that we're actually in a heart-based uh, ground of love and, and not fear. So um, that's where I ask everybody with any kind of identity disorientation or crisis, join me and let's get on the love platform and then we can talk about, you know, all the other labels. Okay, that's it. Um, it's, uh, I probably won't do another scope tonight. It's, it's kind of late Maui time. Um, but I wish you all a good night and aloha.